Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're going to look at scientific notation as well as expanded notation. Now, a lot of learners don't like scientific notation. I hated it when I was in school, but I've actually got a nice way that's going to make it pretty easy for you. So let's just talk about what ex what scientific notation is and what si and, and then what expanded notation is. So expanded notation, so expanded, um, that is just normal numbers, like normal numbers such as so it'll be something like um three two six comma two one for 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 example or just the number two one eight one four or maybe the number zero comma two one three eight those are just normal numbers there's nothing weird over there scientific notation their numbers look weird and um, they have things like this two comma four one times 10. So as soon as you see this times 10 part, then you know that that's scientific. Scientific. And then they're going to put a little number at the top here, like a 3, for example. Let's do another one. Um, 0, com no, not 0. 1, comma, 0, 8 times 10 to the... Um, so it always has that times 10 part, and then negative 6. And then let's do 7. Whoopsie, what happened there? 7. Oh, that's glitching. 7, comma... 3, 2, 1 times 10 to the negative, or let's say positive 8. So whenever you see this times 10 part, times 10, times 10, times 10, that is called scientific notation. And when there's just a normal number, then it's called expanded. Just no, It's just like a normal number. Now I'm going to give you a whole bunch of um, examples on this lesson. I'm going to give you some rules that you can follow that's going to make it really, really easy. So just want you to write these down and then you'll see how easy this is going to be. And at first it might be a bit weird, but trust me in this lesson we are going to be doing a lot of examples where we're going to be going, um, we're going to do, we're going to write numbers in scientific notation, but we're also going to write scientific notation to expanded notation. So we're going to do both. Okay. So here's the rules that you need to know. When you are going from expanded to scientific then just remember the following rules. Left means positive. Right means negative. When we are going from, and, and you might not understand what I'm talking about right now. That's perfectly fine. I'm with examples, you'll understand. Then when we go from scientific to expanded, well, then it's the opposite way. Left means negative and right means positive. Kevin, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry, that's fine. As we do examples, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Just write that down for now. Another rule for um, when you're going from expanded to scientific is if you have any, or it's with all the zeros, okay? I'm sure your teacher's spoken about the zeros. Okay, you know the number zero. So here's the rules. Zeros in the front or back of number are not written down. Okay, so what I mean by that is the following. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 6, 7, 1, 0, 0. So zeros in the front and the zeros at the back are not going to be written down when you go into scientific form. You're not gonna write these numbers down, okay? Um, zeros that are in the middle, that's absolutely fine. You can include those, okay? But this all makes sense with examples. So here's our first example. So what you're gonna do is you are just going to, so we are saying write the following number in scientific notation. So we're gonna be using this rule over here. So what we'll do is we are just gonna check, are there any numbers any zeros in the front and the back? Any zeros at the back? No. Any zeros in the front? No. Okay, what you'll do next is you'll just write down the first number. So that's just a 1, put a comma, and then put all the other numbers. 4, 1, 8, 6, 1, 2. Okay. Now all that you do is you need to say times 10. And then you need to look at the comma. So the comma was originally there, or if you want I can put it there for you. And now it is over here. With scientific notation, we always put it after the first one. So how many places has it moved? Two places. 
Did it move two places left or two places right? Well, it moved two places to the left. Left means positive. So you're going to put a positive two over there, not a negative two. Okay, and so that would be your final answer. Let's. We're going to do a lot of examples in this lesson. We're also going to be looking at going from scientific to expanded. I'll prove it to you. So these are all going from expanded to scientific. And then, oh, I don't know why there's a writing here. These are all going from expanded to scientific, but then later on we're going to go from um, scientific to expanded, which are all of these ones. Okay. So here's the next example. So we're going to go from, write the following number in scientific. So that means we're going from expanded to scientific. And so are there any zeros at the back? No. Are there any zeros in the front? No. So then what you do is you just write out the first number, you put a comma, and then you write out all the other numbers. Okay, now you say times 10, and then you just got to look at the comma. So the comma was originally over there, now it is over here. So we've moved it one place to the left. So we, it's, a, it's, it's a positive number, and so you could say 1. But what your teacher might tell you is that when there's a 1, um, you can actually just leave it out. It's the same thing. Having a 1 there or not having a 1 there is the same thing. Okay, so just see what your teacher says about that. And so the final answer would be that. Or if your teacher prefers the one, then it might also be written like that. Here's our next example. So we're going from expanded to scientific. Okay, and so are there any zeros in the front? Yes, there are. Okay, so we won't write out any of those. And are there any zeros at the back? No, there aren't. Okay, so you start with the first number after the zeros, that's five, and then you put a comma. Then you put all the numbers after it, like that, then you say times 10. Okay, now we need to see um, how the comma has moved. So this was the original place where the comma was, now it is over here. So we have moved it three places to the right. So right means negative, so you're gonna put a negative three. Let's do another example. So are there any zeros in the front? Yes, there are. And are there any zeros at the back? No, they aren't. Don't worry about these zeros, they are in the middle. They're not in the front or the back. So what you do is you write out the first number, which is a four, put a comma, and then put all the other numbers. Then you say times 10, and now you just see how the comma has moved. So we went from here to here. So that is um, one, two, three places to the right, so we say minus three. Here's the next example. Wow, that's a big number. So are there any zeros in the front? No, there aren't. Are there any zeros at the back? Yes, there are. Scratch them out. Okay, so what we do now is we put down the first number, which is eight, then put all the other numbers, three, zero, zero, two, 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 zero, three, one, two. Don't write out these zeros. They're not gonna be part of it. Now we need to look at the comma. So the comma was originally after this two over here, so it was there, but now we have moved it all the way to over there. So we've moved it one, two, whoopsie, one, two, three, four, five, six places, and we moved it to the left, six places to the left, so we say times 10 to the power of six. And so that would be your final answer. Here's the next one. Are there any zeros in the front? Yes. Any zeros at the back? No. Don't worry about these. They are already, they fine. They are somewhere in the middle. So you write out the first number, put a comma, and then you put all the other numbers, say times 10, and now we just look at the decimal. So the decimal was here. Now it is over here. So we moved it one, two, three, four, five places to the right. We moved it five places to the right. So we say minus five. Okay, are there any zeros in the front? No, they aren't. Are there any zeros at the back? Yes, so we take that one out. And so we write out the first number, put a comma, and then put all the other numbers. One, nine, oh, two, two, three, oh, oh, one. Then you say times 10. Now what we do is we look at the decimals. So the decimal uh, used to be in between these two. So it used to be over there, but now it's over here. So we moved it to the left. Remember, you must always go, you must always go from the one that you had in the beginning, and you need to see where did we move it. So we moved it to the left to become this new one. Okay, so that's going to be um, one, two, 
three, four places to the left, which is positive. So we put a positive four. And so your final answer would look like that. All right, now we are, this is already scientific notation. Remember when as soon as there's a times 10, that means scientific. So now the next couple of examples, we're gonna be going from scientific to expanded. So this one's really nice and easy. All you do is you just go, um, you look at this over here. And if that number is a positive number, then we're gonna move right. Okay, so we're gonna move the decimal three places to the right. And so we're gonna go one, two, three. And you're just gonna say one, three, two, four. Okay, here's the next one. So that number there is a negative. So negative means left. So you're gonna take this decimal and you're gonna move it five places to the left. Okay, let's just write this a bit better. So five places to the left. So you're gonna start here and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then you're gonna put a comma. So put your comma over there. Now in all of these open buckets, you're gonna fill up a zero. So you're just gonna put a zero. And then you're also gonna put a zero in front of the comma, okay? You will get used to that. And then you're gonna take away the comma where it was, and there, that would be your answer for that one. Here's the next one. So this is a negative. So negative means that we go to the left, okay? So let's just write out the number quickly, 2,458001. So negative means left, so we're gonna go one, two, three. Then you must put the comma, Okay, so any empty spaces you fill up with a zero and then you also put a zero in the front of the comma. And so that is your final answer. Let's just write this a bit better. Uh, 458001. This one is a positive nine. So we're gonna go nine places to the right. So this is what we currently have. So you're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, put the comma, okay? Now, fill up any empty spaces with a zero. Now, when the comma is at the back like this, you don't have to put a zero over there. It's only when it is in the front that you put a zero. So take that comma away, obviously take that comma away, and so that is your number. So you never wanna end up, end up with a comma zero like that. We never wanna have an answer like that. Here we have a negative seven, so negative means that we go to the left side. Remember, negative means left. So um, eight, seven, five, three, four uh, times 10 to the negative seven. Okay, so now we're gonna go seven places to the left. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, put a comma. Then fill up all these empty spaces with zeros and then put a zero in the front. Then scratch out the old comma, and so there is your answer. This is a positive three, so that means we're gonna go three places to the right. So if we have the number, so you're gonna go three places to the right, so it's one, two, three. So you're gonna end up with one, eight, seven, six, comma, two, one, one, two, three, one. Here's our last example. So. It's a positive six, so we're gonna go to the right. And so if we have two comma one, four, five, then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Put your comma. Okay, so you fill up any empty space with a zero, and then you take away that, that comma, and then you never wanna have a comma at the end like that, and so there is your final answer. Okay, and that's us done.